here's a little look at what we're going to make covering the basics of reactive audio in Spark. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to be using a little piece of audio downloaded from Facebook. From their tutorial here, I will provide the link to that down below. But there's the sample content that you download, and that's where that audio is from. Uh, the reason being is that um, you need to uh, push the effect over to your device to be able to properly test the microphone. So this is just much easier just for demo purposes. So I'm just going to drag that in and I am going to start by I'm going to drag that over into my patch editor here and I'm going to put in a pulse so right click and pulse drop that in and flick it on the next thing I'm going to put in is a single clip controller and the pulse will be connected to the loop, the single clip controller. And then I'm going to put in audio player. This is just getting this audio clip set up. And that will be connected to the to the controller there. And then so the audio clip then gets plugged into there. And if I add in a speaker, so add object, scroll down speaker. I then can no, I'm going to click on that little arrow next to the audio there, and then hook that up. Now, if I need, need to refresh, the audio is playing. So, basic audio loop created. So now, uh, to demonstrate the effect, I'm just going to add in a face mesh. On the guy put in a material go to the material I'm just going to extract the texture out so go back to face tracker texture extraction go over to my material choose that uh, face tracker texture there I'm going to choose that as blended and I am also going to make sure I untick those two I'll just test that it is going to work just by, yeah, that's what we want. Uh, okay, so next thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to put in a audio analyzer. Search for that, audio analyzer, there it is there. So this is the new feature, it provides you with access to the eight different sort of bands of frequencies in the audio. But we're just going to be concentrated just using uh, band one. This is just a very simple uh, demo. Yeah, all right. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my audio uh, across to here. Didn't work. There we go. So that's now uh, putting that audio, that loop in, and then uh, analyzing it, and then I can rehook that back up to the speaker. There we go. And I'm going to add in a transition. And so that audio is going to be analyzed in there. And that is then, if I go to my face mesh, and then click on the arrow next to scale to bring that in. I'm going to use the audio to uh, affect the scale. So I want that, so I want to change this to start on one, 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 and then it will go to two. And then just connect that up. Okay, so let's have a look. There we go. So that's the very basics. The audio is uh, affecting the scale there. One last thing I'm just going to put in just to smooth it off a little bit. Pause that. A exponential smoothing. And I am going to put that in between here. 
Put that, put that, and now I'll play that back so you can see what that's done. But it's smoothed it a bit too much, so I'm just going to turn this down to say 20. Yeah, that looks better. Now, before I push that over to my device to test it, I need to grab my microphone here, drag that down into here because I want this affected by my microphone rather than this audio. And now I need to hook up my microphone into the audio analyzer. So now this becomes redundant. But if I just play that, here we go, I needed to refresh it. It won't work, so I've got to push that over to my device and then we'll check it out on there. So just come down, test on the device, send to app, Instagram camera. Now that has sent that across, if I just load that up, and then accept the terms. And then, uh, yeah, it's a bit weird. i uh, put some audio on in the background so that you can actually see what's going on. You'll see that it uh, doesn't start working uh, straight away until you hold that, uh, you've got to start recording. And that is the very basics of audio reactivity in Spark.